It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we got a couple of bottles here on the table. What do we yeah, got? Yeah, this isn't uncorking, but with a drink this or that element. Uh, so we're uncorking the Heaven Hill 18 year and this or that ing with the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124. That's right, because there's um, a fairly large population out there who, you know, is gonna be interested in the review on this, but also knowing that they're never gonna find it. Or if you do find it, do it's, you have, you know, yeah. can your wallet stand the $299.99 price point? Our community uses Elijah Craig Barrel Proof as a measuring stick very for often. so many things. For so many things, so a lot of people, I can already hear them saying. Yeah. I mean, there is an age difference, but proof-wise, very similar. Why pay $300 for this when I can get this for about 80 bucks? Now, we picked the latest edition of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which is a uh, 124, but we were looking for one around the same proof, and it just happened to work out that way. Mm -hmm. It's 119 proof versus 120. Uh, this is unfortunately on the younger side. Would've been better if it had been like that 13 year and some months. Sure. This one's 10 years and nine months. But that just means that's the youngest that's years. in there. There could be yeah. older in there, well, right? for sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, and then yeah, 18 years, this is the Heritage Collection bottle. We did the 17 year when it came out. It was in our best of. We mm -hmm. loved it. That still goes down as like one of my favorite bottles ever. Yes. So we might be a little biased, right? Because we both have high expectations for this bottle. There's history there. There is history there. We wanted to do it blind. We have the name underneath the Glen Karen here, but we're not sure which one is which. Yep. We're gonna taste them, then we're gonna reveal, and then we'll go more into just, you know, a by the book uh, review of this guy right here. Mm -hmm. But we wanna make sure, you know, let's let's see if uh, if this little guy can topple the big guy, a little David and Goliath. Or how close will it come for that right. price difference? Or is this worth it to go from here to here, my right. So, all let's right. Let's find out. You let's wanna... start on our left okay. first. So this one right here. This one right here. Okie dokie. Hmm. What a nose. <laughs> I just like that. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm getting some, uh, some honey and oak and... Yeah, I get like nice rich sugars, like brown sugar notes with the oak. Very nice. Okay. Well, it's There's your some health. depth there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That honey carries through on the palate. Good mouthfeel. Like yes, the very, proof. Mm -hmm. Again, there's that depth of that, like, yeah, the sweet notes with that oak mm -hmm. and a little spice coats pretty well. I wouldn't call it an exceptional mouthfeel, but no. I would say it's a good mouthfeel. It is a good mouthfeel. I was expecting more from the finish, or maybe hoping for more from the finish. We'll it's take a of, second tip. Yeah. It lingers, but it doesn't mm. like crescendo into, ooh, don't spill. <laughs> crescendo into anything like magical. It's really good. It is really good. Really solid, that. very good. So without having the other one, I couldn't predict if I think I'm drinking this or this one. I don't know, yeah. I kind of think maybe I'm not, but I'm not here to guess. Okay, so in theory, if something is going to be a limited release, 18 year super hyped product that is $300 a bottle, I want my socks blown off, right? right? Like, yes, I want to be wearing no socks after Those this. are my expectations. And so if this is this, then I don't feel that it, it's very good, but I don't think it meets expectations. I'd agree would with that. Would you agree with that? I would okay. agree with that. Well, let's try this one here. Oh. <sighs> hmm, I thought this nose had depth. This one has more, Hmm, silky, silkiness. I know what is a what is a silkiness smell like. But I'd say like oak wise, they're fairly similar. They are like fairly I'm not getting a. This one's not. Like I couldn't tell you the age difference between these two based on the nose. I do get a little more leather on this one, I believe. Yeah, I guess it's giving a little bit more like those nuanced notes. A little more, or a, at least a different type of spice. It's a different something. Yeah, more clove. I yeah, feel I like. guess like a little bit more. I don't know if elegance the right word, but developed maybe. Developed. All right, to your health again. Whoa. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That mouthfeel. Shut the front door. What the French and the, toast? The finish, mm -hmm. oak, that little bit of leather that you said. Mm hmm. Mm. Now, gentle spice, nice hug. Longer finish. Longer. Oh, I'm still tasting it. Down into the chest feels for sure. Exceptional mouthfeel. Let's get that right. Let's get that right. I would say neither of these for me are 
past my oak threshold, which I would have expected to be able to tell the difference between an 18 year age dated and this 10 year and some change yeah. age statement. Like I would be, for me, expect to be like, truthfully, this one's too oaky. Cause my threshold's about 15, 16 years, usually anything over that. And it's a questionable, right? I don't know between either of these couldn't tell you. Well, I feel like this age wise, this, this, <laughs> I'm not this. trying to point here, this. this has more oak and a more enjoyable oak than this. Um, yeah, I think it's more developed. Man, mm. that mouthfeel. It's, I mean, you know, like um, like liquid butter? I mean, that's gross, but it has that feeling of like liquid butter. Clar clarified Clarified butter? butter, I guess, texturally, but not in a gross Ooh. way, because that sounds disgusting. Yeah, this one does go ar uh, arc. It goes dark. It goes um, much more stone fruit, much more <laughs> plum and mm. uh, yeah, dark, dark raisin and wood sugars and uh, just. I don't get the, like the traditional Heaven Hill, like that nutty malty note that we sometimes get. And I don't get that in either of these uh, really. Either of these, yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, if I got it in one, it would be more so on the first one. The second one, it's like not a trace at all. If you blinded yeah. me with this and said, what distillery is it from? Obviously I know right now, but in a double blind, I wouldn't be able to tell you, don't know comparatively more nuttiness mm -hmm. in our first sample here, but like but I, I'm ready to render a verdict if you are. I mean, same. Uh, there's obviously one that I want to keep drinking and one that is good, but not as good. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, two one. one. This one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's talk about it before we reveal. Okay. It seems to be a landslide, no? Yes. Especially when, so we, we started with, we'll call it A, we went to B, then went back to A. Oh, I didn't go back. It showed more of its flaws. You know, starting with A here. Oh yeah, uh, that's wild. It's like, hey, this is good, this is good. You go to B and you're like, oh, this is better, this is better. You go back to A and you're like, oh, now I see why A isn't, A isn't as good as I thought, but that's all like, it's completely what to call the flight fight effect. It's, if you're not drinking it next to something else, you're not gonna know. Right. And that's the beauty of whiskey, right? And that should maybe help some FOMO out there. Like, if you don't know, you don't know. Right, that's true. <laughs> if like, you wanna know, then we, uh, we... It's sort of an ignorance is bliss mentality, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like, we support your decision if you wanna know to go sure. out and try things like this, we're assuming, uh, vintage whiskey, things that, you know, are just not on the shelf every day. But if you also don't want to... There's great stuff out there. Then you're not gonna know what you're missing. Yeah, you won't know what you're missing. All right, so let's now see what we got here. Okay. It is the Heaven it's Hill the Heaven 18. 18. <laughs> that was gonna be real funny. Oh my like, God. We both like... just would've gone, <gasps> Start it oh. over, <laughs> start it Scrap over. It. No, Scrap. I'm just kidding, we no, would not do that. that. But and, it, and it comes in a box. <laughs> As Chad, you know he loves a box. Box, okay. Box for whiskeys. <laughs> well, now we're just gonna go into more of a full review of I'm gonna make sure I kept the right one, yes. Yes. The Heaven Hell 18 year. Uh, before we do, we wanna tell you about our home of the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the Angel Share t-shirt that I'm wearing. Sarah, the long sleeve that you're wearing. It's of almost not gonna be the season for it anymore. I know, well, I'm okay with that. Uh, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from. Of course, it is still the season, especially in some northern places for our hoodies and our sweatshirts. <laughs> Our caps and our uh, everything. There's candles and, candles and, syrup, and, and stuff. syrup and stuff at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash bourbonite. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we exclusively release our barrel picks after the episode specials, mm -hmm. uh, discounts on that merch, and more. Yeah, and you get uh, the shout out of the names scrolling down here of and all the wonderful nice? patrons. Oh, and, and they do make the dream work, you know. All that jazz. That's so. what we say. Yeah, that's what but we They've say. heard it a lot. Yeah. But if this is your first time, now you know. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna take a minute and we'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, we wanna give you some more um, specs on this guy as it's now the official review, now that we have very limitedly, but done a little scientific test. That we'll compare and contrast. It you know? is better than uh, some of the normal stuff out there. When people say, why would I buy that if I can just have an Elijah Craig barrel proof, now I can say with confidence that there is a difference, you know. There is a difference. Um, now, is it worth, worth your $300? Ooh, yeah. And that's retail, by the way, $299.99. Oh, that's that's a personal question that you yourself have to answer. Um, let's tell you about this bottle. As we said, it's 120 proof. It is their typical 78 corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye mash bill. 
there were 133 barrels Ooh. that went into this that wow. were uh, a lot. procured in December of 2005. But then it's an 18 year, so like mm -hmm. how much was lost? Oh you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, for sure. From the third floor of Rick House, I think that's one eye, mm. I, I would imagine. So all barrels came from that floor of that warehouse, all 133 barrels. Wow. Yeah. We pretty much talked about like the nose, the mouthfeel, the palate, the finish in the comparison mm. part. I do think it is worth kind of noodling on the $300, right? Because normally we say the rough calculator is $10 per year. Well, and then in theory, this should be 180 to 200. Right. However, this is an 18 year at 120 proof, right. which I think says something about what was lost from those 133 barrels and then no water was added or i'm sorry some water added but added. not a ton so we're still keeping it high proof i do think that changes the game in terms of that calculator and i think so and also you know you look at where it's sort of that ten dollars a year came from i believe it came from heaven hill with the old Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's a nine year, it's 90 bucks. If it's a 16 year, or it's 160. Around. Those are all- 100 proof. 100 proof. And it's also arbitrary. You know, there's they come worse their... values out Correct. there. There's better there's values. values. Better uh, values uh, you know, yeah. look at what uh, Jack Daniels is doing with like their 12 year. Uh, it's not 120, you know, it's like, uh, what was it, 80 80 or something? something? Like yeah, yeah that, between 80 and 90, I really think. Really good value. Or, you know, you look at the Wild Turkey, the Generations bottle. Nope. Um, yeah. You know, what was that, $400? Four, yeah. Four, 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 something four, like 30. that. So, would I rather have this or would I rather have that? Mm, that might be a really bougie flight fight to do sometime. Jeez, <laughs> no. Of just the. <laughs> I, from memory, from memory and how we ranked the Generations in our best of 2023, I would rather have this. Yeah. Now, am I the type of person who's going to take $300 out of my own bank account and go and buy this if it's just me at home alone and I don't have a channel? No. And you're watching Home Alone. Right. No, I'm not going to do that. But if I needed a $300 bottle and had access to this. Or if you have three other friends, uh, four friends total, and you want to you know, go in and, and, split, and split it. it. It's great. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I, I, would. I do think it delivers on the expectation obviously we'll put it in the best of for this year and see where it comes out for sure compared against something like i would love to see how this would do against btac lineup or better yet the whatever the best uh large crack barrel proof of this year ends up being because it might not be that a one two four that, that we just, we just tested tried. yeah it might mm -hmm. be one of the you know the b or the c the so. yet to be released right uh have that go up against it yeah for sure but um sarah I did want to say now that's sort of been sitting here in the glass a little bit go back and smell that nose and i am getting a little bit of peanut butter now it that little bit of nuttiness is coming out now mm -hmm. it's like yeah that nutty and a little bit more oak is coming out than before yeah for sure i could dig into this like i'm about to pour myself a little bit more <laughs> but i am getting a little bit more nuttiness now uh, you know, third, fourth step, whatever this is of this. And you know, things do open up in the glass and and you get new things. If it's a complex whiskey, especially on that second, third, fourth, fifth sip, you know, new tastes sort of develop. For me, there's no question about is what's in this bottle good? Yes, it's very good. I want to drink more of it <laughs> right now. I think the question is, is that a good fit for you? You know, if you yeah. really love Heaven Hill products or you really like things in this age range and you have the money, absolutely. And you can find it. Those are, but that's a lot of qualifiers. That's a lot of ifs. Well, it is, but you know, you have to ask yourself, you've made it this far in the episode and you're watching this review. There's obviously interest about it. You can look at it a couple ways. I am interested in all whiskey and want to stay up on uh, the happening. So that's why I'm watching it. Or I have a special occasion coming up or I am in that tax bracket where $300 doesn't, um, doesn't uh, scare me. And you know what, go for you. Yes, uh, so I want to know if it's if it's worth it or if I see it at a shop and they're charging more than the MSRP, how much right. is it worth? Not trying to like prop up by talking about all this, the super premium, highly priced market. Don't love to see that right now. I don't think that's what the average consumer wants. And for the most part, I feel that a good portion of them do not live up to it. Mm -hmm. I think we could say that fairly. I would count this one out of that though. Um, Agreed. I think it is living up to it. And it's, you also have to think bourbon is catching up to scotch. Like an 18 year bourbon, 
there's no like magical equation. Of but like how imagine, many years in scotch would that yeah, be? Yeah, like a 28, 30 year old scotch. I don't know what Think that of costs. any of those Macallans. Uh, those are gonna be, you know. I mean, we look at that. Double this, if not triple or quadruple. We look at that Brucladi Dark Arts bottle, uh, like every time we see it, and it's in the six, 600, 650. 630, 650. And we're obviously, we're not gonna buy it. We don't live in that range. Um, but we look longingly at it because we know how good it is. We've had it before. We've had it before and we would want it. But yeah. anyways, this is a lot of if then discussion. Yeah, well, you know, I think when you get a bottle like this, when you get a, a, a once a year LE, and this is now a yearly release. It uses the Heritage Collection. One yeah. of their six different mash bills. I think last year was the 20 year corn, right? Mm, yeah. Um, and then as we said, there's been a 17 year bourbon. Glad to see it back in the bourbon mash bill here. And you've also got like, Parker's Heritage from this distillery and some some other uh, Ellie's William Heaven William Hill. William Heaven Hill running roughly the same price, mm -hmm, which but, I would happily spend money on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think those are they might be a little less expensive. Just a touch know. less depends on the year and the cast strength or not. But it is oftentimes, and we'll have to see uh, as these releases come out. Um, it shakes out to be the very best offering from that particular distillery. Mm. We feel with this one, if you spent the money on it, you wouldn't be disappointed. I don't think. Agreed. It is an uncorking. <laughs> Recommend if you can afford it. All take all those qualifiers <laughs> that we talked about through the episode into consideration, but I know. It almost feels gross saying meet, Yeah, run out and get it. It meets expectations and that is really good, I think, for yeah. it's very difficult to do for this price range. There we go. All right. That's well, where we'll leave it. Yeah. If you haven't <laughs> subscribed to us already, <laughs> you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.